coming to you from Studio 703. A show made for students, by students. This is Bronco TV. Welcome back to another episode of Bronco TV. I'm Cadence. And I'm Alex. Hey, Cadence, did you ever see the plays drama put on? Oh, yeah, they were hilarious. I love the one about the Greeks. Drama recently kicked off a series of one-act plays featuring the Greek mythology Olympia Gonza and Oz. Improv put on a comedic performance debuting their first show of the year, leaving their audience cheering and amused. So we do the acting form of improv, which is essentially coming up with everything on the spot. Our actors, our players don't know what's going to happen five seconds before the scene. My favorite part of improv is all of the fun and the people that you meet. Uh, I'd say if you're interested in joining the club, you should definitely try out. I auditioned as like kind of a joke to myself. I didn't know that I was going to get on, and then I did, and look where it's brought me. I think there's a little bit of something for everyone. There are so many different personality types, and improv works a lot better if we have all those different personality types, because if you ever watch a show, you'll see that it kind of fuses really well. Earlier this month, many students and staff made contributions to the blood drive, giving their blood for a greater cause. The sophomore class attended the Human Relations Conference, where they bonded with their peers and learned more about empathizing with others. Why do I do what I do? My passion is working with youth. I see so many things going sideways in our world, and I really believe you guys are the only ones that can turn things around. HRC helps people learn about their own emotions and how much it means to other people when a lot of people are vulnerable because it like creates a safe space for a lot of people to want to talk about their feelings. I think the biggest thing is about creating some real connections, understanding that we're not alone, even in those moments when we feel like we really are. It's okay to talk about your feelings, it's okay to be vulnerable, and if you have people that you can relate to, then you'll be more inclined to want to share. We need to know how to love each other and care for each other and be real when we have connections, students with each other and teachers with each other and with their students. We have a lot better community and we're able to move forward a lot stronger. Hey Broncos, it's Vita with your ASB update. Coming up in December, we have our Winter Spirit Week, so stay tuned for more details. We will also be selling candy grams in the student store starting the 12th and we'll be distributing them out the week before break during the Spirit Week. Make sure to check out at the RBHS Stable Instagram for more info. Have a happy Thanksgiving Broncos and enjoy your break. Man, hearing our marching band this year has been incredible. Yeah, no wonder they're going into championships again this year. Well, I wouldn't expect less from our Royal Regiment. From Chula Vista to Westview, our Royal Regiment has been climbing the ranks to prepare for their upcoming championships. Our Royal Regiment has had a strong year and we are enjoying returning back to a normal routine coming out of the pandemic. We have a really big senior class right now and we've actually been doing pretty well. I feel like we are very connected this year and um, we know each other a lot better because most of us are returning members from last year and the group dynamic really helps with how we play. Having a larger band allows us to do different things and we can create different moments on the field. I think our biggest trademark is our excellence in music and we spend a lot of time working on fine details. So everyone has a collective effort that we're moving forward to create this wonderful product which this year is called The Summit. We want to strive for the best musicality and the best musicianship that we can. Everything is much easier to do this year. That's definitely helped us push forward this season. Getting everyone to learn their music and do everything really well, execute everything well, that has definitely been a huge accomplishment. To have the blue uniforms, to have uniformity, to show our good example and our good character. When we go to a tournament away, people know who we are. We enjoy being around each other and we enjoy the product that we have so that when we go out and perform in front of crowds, the thrill of performing in front of the crowd, the satisfaction of the hard work, all of that effort and time that they put in pays off. I've been in this program for four years and so it's pretty sad seeing it come to a close, but it's been so much fun. It's been better than I could even imagine. Wow, I'm gonna miss fall sports. Yeah, and I can't believe it's McCoy's last season as head coach. But we have a lot to look forward to to wrap up our season. 
The girls field hockey team has been on a tear, dominating the competition and making it all the way to the CIF finals. Girls and boys cross country ended strong, with four athletes taking medals at CIF finals. Our boys water polo team is heading to states. They crushed their opponents for their first CIF finals win. The football team put up a fight, making Coach McCoy's last year as head coach one to remember. After an incredible 12 years of leading the team, he is stepping down. But his journey is one to remember. Coach Carpenter, who's still teaching here, he called me up and said, we have a, we have a position open, teaching position, and we'd love to have you come back home. So I've known him uh, most of his life. I think that the things that are important about him have always been the same. He's always been very mature, a uh, person of character, person of integrity, very passionate about whatever he's doing. With a whopping 72 wins in 11 seasons, Coach McCoy has won more games than any other RB football coach. However, his impact on the team is greater than just a record. Coach is the leader, is a role model. Everyone looks up to him. It's the attitude that he brings every single day. Uh, day in and day out through practice and games that uh, you look up to and you, you want to model your, your game after. I think the way he's able to, to always keep the big picture in mind, it's about the kids, it's about the experience. I think that's, that's been something that's been great for me for the 12 years that he's been head coach. Viewed as a pillar of character and integrity, Coach McCoy was able to leave an impact beyond the field. Even though I'm the older one, um, he has been an incredible mentor to me and maybe a better word is role model. Um, I've watched him literally grow up. Um, the man he is now, the, the, he is someone who not only talks about character, integrity, doing the right things, he lives them every day. I'm a better person, a better teacher, a better coach, a better father um, because of my experience in working with him. You know, I'm so happy that I came back down down to Rancho Bernardo, whatever it was, 17 years ago. And it was one of the hardest 12 years, I think, as, as head coach, but probably one of the best 12 years I could have ever imagined. It's definitely made me a better person in a lot of different ways. And I'm just so happy that I, uh, that I walked through that door. Hey, Alex, what have you been up to lately? Oh, I've been helping out with the food drive on campus. Wow, how humanitarian of you. Thanks, I know. These past few weeks, the Fight Against Hunger Club has given their all to offer less fortunate people in the community an opportunity for a Thanksgiving meal they deserve. Fight Against Hunger is a club here on campus that's just all about helping get people the food that they need. We mostly target those in the community, but sometimes we do also try to reach those more worldwide. Just anyone who needs food but isn't able to get it economically or just resource-wise. On campus right now, we actually have a food bin program where if anyone ever has any unopened food that they would rather like throw away just because they don't want to eat it, you put it in the bin and then we get it to students on campus. As an officer, I try to like spread the word about things that are happening within the club, like fundraisers, like currently we are having a food drive. So spreading the word about that is like really critical. I want to help make our members of Fight Against Hunger feel included in all the events we do. Like know that they have a say in the decisions we make. Making sure they're really involved is really important for the club. You know, without members, what are we? Fight Against Hunger isn't the only one helping out. Leo Club has been spreading Thanksgiving cheer with their peanut butter drive. Leo Club is a charity club. We help charities in our organization and other charities in San Diego and like Venture Bernardo area. We did do a fall festival. Everything that came to us went back to a charity that helps provide transport to families and kids that need to get to the hospital for their chemotherapy. We're doing a peanut butter drive, so we're gonna go out to each classroom and set up like a bag or a basket and be like, hey, we're collecting like jars of peanut butter for our peanut butter drive. If anyone does want to come join, like please do, we're very welcoming and accepting. Hey Cadence, what are you thankful for this holiday season? I'm thankful for a week off of school. Well, I'm thankful to get to go home and see my family. Oh, Randy, I can't believe our kids are coming home for Thanksgiving this year. Uh-huh. Our little angels with their 4.0 GPAs, I wonder what they're doing. Uh-huh. You know, Alice with her engineering, and Theo with the sociology, and Simon with... I'm not really sure what he's doing. 
The only thing I'm sure of is a six-figure salary. <laughs> that must be Alice. Hi, so good to see you. Um, so the turkey's almost done. Smells good, right? Uh-huh. It's, it's all right, I guess. So how are things going with your engineering studies? About that, I dropped that for my true passion. And uh, what might that be? I dropped college to pursue my magic career. Magic is what you want to do with your life? Randy, just let her do what she wants. Alice, I see you changed your look up a little bit. And what of it? I just, you know, what decided, made you decide. We'll talk about this later. Hi, come Hi. on in. How are you? Good, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So excited you're here. Wow, Mom, this place looks as great as ever. Why, thank you, Thea. And Dad, looking good. Oh, thank you, son. Oh, that must be the turkey. Randy, why don't you help me? Sure. Sub Sport, how's the magician thing going? Any luck with birthday parties? Come on, I'm just messing with you. I'm proud. Come on, give me a five. Hey! Ah! Hey! What's going on out here? Guys, knock it off. Can't you guys just get it together? I just want to have a nice Thanksgiving dinner. For me, please. Pretty good, Mom. Aw, thanks, sweetie. Hey, sis. Sorry for making fun of that magic thing. It's whatever. You guys want to see a magic trick? Is it the one where I make all the pie disappear? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Mother. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for this episode of Bronco TV. We hope you have a good break, Broncos, and make sure to like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wow, how humanitarian. I messed it up. <laughs> I said plural. <laughs> Bro! My intarnation, you guys. Hey, kids, what do you think? Wait, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way we're staging bloopers right now is so... Well, I'm thankful for... Uh... <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> 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 <laughs>